What's going on everybody? In this video we are going to be checking out a guide to the prayer skill in old school RuneScape. The best part about this guide? We are going to get this done in 10 minutes or less. Not everybody has all day to sit around and watch long guide videos, so without further delays, let's get started. Starting off with the prayer skill, if you're starting a new account or maybe you're an Iron Man and you want to get some quick prayer XP to get up a few levels, you can do a few quests. They are the Restless Ghost, which has no requirements, but you will have to kill or run away from a level 13 ghost. Priest in Peril also has no requirements and also unlocks the Canifus area. You'll have to defeat a level 30 Temple Guardian and a level 30 Monk of Zamorak, but that's not too hard for lower level accounts. Recruitment Drive does have a few quest requirements, but they are useful and help progress your account. And the Holy Grail, which also has some other quest requirements, which are useful and will help progress your account. All in all, if you do these four quests starting out, it will give you 14,531 prayer XP, which will take a player with level one prayer all the way to level 30 with no traditional training. All right, so let's get started with our actual training methods. There are four of them we're going to cover, so let's get through this as quick as we can. Gilded Altar is going to be our first method. The Gilded Altars are located in player-owned houses. If you don't have your own Gilded Altar, you may use another player's providing you are not an Iron Man. You can do this in World 330 if you don't have your own, which is the House Party World. Check the notice board to see who is hosting. When both incense burners are lit, the altar will give 350% of the normal experience. For example, a superior Dragonbone will give you 150 XP when buried, but it will award 525 XP when offered at a gilded altar with both burners lit. You can also use each bone on the altar to get faster experience rates rather than letting it auto offer. So if you use one bone on the offer and let it go, it will take more time, but you can use each one individually on the altar to get fast XP. In addition to this, players can visit the NPC Files, who is located just outside and a bit south of the house portal, to unnote noted bones for 5 GP each. This is a very popular method if you don't have your own altar. Our next method is the Chaos Altar. The Chaos Altar is very similar to the Gilded Altar as it gives the same experience bonus, but it does have an additional perk. The Chaos Altar is located on the western wall of the wilderness in level 44. This altar gives the same experience as a Gilded Altar, as I just said, but has a 50% chance that the bone will not be consumed, effectively cutting your bone usage in half. The Zealot's Robe Set will also award an additional 5% chance that the bone won't be consumed, which will stack with the altar, giving you 55% total, although you are risking the set while using it in the wilderness. Bones can also be noted here and used on the nearby Chaos Druid to be unnoted for 50 GP per bone, but this means you will have to have noted bones and cash on you, which considerably raises the value lost if you are PK'd. Due to PKers, this method is high risk and high reward. Next up on our method list is going to be Insold Heads. Insold Heads do require access to the Archaeus Spellbook, which can be unlocked at 60% Archaeus Favor. Additionally, you will also need the respective magic level to reanimate an insold monster using its reanimation spell. The experience rate varies depending on the head, but generally this method is much cheaper than using bones at a gilded altar or the chaos altar. Reanimation spells can be cast north of the Archaeus library, a little bit north and to the east as if you're running over to the Dark Essence Mine. Once a monster is reanimated, players will have to defeat it using their chosen combat style to receive the prayer experience. It's worth noting that a cannon can be used to speed up kill times. Our last method we're going to cover is going to be Demonic Ashes. Ashes can be offered by using the Demonic Offering spell, which is also in the Archaeus spellbook, and just like the Insult Heads, you'll need 60% Archaeus favor to use this spellbook. As for the spell itself, it does require level 84 magic to use, and that would be one soul rune and one wrath rune and that's about 510 515 gp at the time of this video this is the best cost to xp rate by using malicious ashes it does take a little bit longer but can be worth it the current time of this video it's about 4.8 gp per one prayer xp one demonic offering spell can offer up to three ashes at a time so you cast the spell once and it will offer three ashes from your inventory the cooldown on this is 4.8 seconds when offering the ashes using the demonic offering spell, the experience rate is tripled. Now there actually is a sinister offering spell which allows you to offer bones as well, but you only still get the three times XP rate instead of three and a half as with a gilded altar, so it's much better to offer ashes rather than bones. 
So that is it for our four methods of training the prayer skill. The prayer skill is a very expensive skill to train regardless of which method you choose. So just to put it into perspective, let's take a look at a few numbers. We are going to check out the amounts, cost, and XP rates from level 1 to 99 using certain types of bones and sold heads and ashes. We're going to start out with dragon bones. If you are using dragon bones at a gilded altar in a player owned house, you're looking at 51,724 bones from level 1 to 99. If you decide to do it at the chaos altar and assuming you don't get PK'd for any of your bones, you're looking at somewhere in the area of 25,862 bones. As for your costs at a gilded altar, 75 million GP, which is a far cry from what it used to be. Chaos altar, you're looking at a cost of about 40 mil, and that is including the bones and the cost to unnote them if you do decide to go that route. As for your XP rates at a gilded altar, you're looking at 400 to 650,000 XP per hour. And at the chaos altar, 300 to 500,000 XP per hour. If you decide to use superior dragon bones, you'll have to use something else all the way up to level 70 because it does require level 70 prayer to do anything with the superior dragon bones, whether that is offer them at an altar or use a spell to offer them. If you're using a gilded altar, you're looking at 23,423 at the chaos altar, around 11,712. The cost is super high for this, but it doesn't take long. 232 mil at a gilded altar and 117 mil at the chaos altar. As for your XP rates, they are huge. 1.1 to 1.3 million XP per hour at a gilded altar and 800k to 1 million XP at the chaos altar. If you're looking to go the insold heads route, this one is a lot cheaper. We'll be checking out the rates with insold dragon heads. You will need 8,356 insold dragon heads from level 1 to 99. Your cost only 48.5 mil. So pretty cheap compared to the gilded altar for dragon and superior bones, as well as the chaos altar with superior bones. And it is a little bit more expensive than the chaos altar with dragon bones, but a lot less risk involved. As for your XP rate with the insold dragon heads, 250 to 350,000 per hour. Next, we will take a look at Ashes. We're going to start out with the Malicious Ashes here, and you will be getting passive magic experience from this. As for the amount, you will need 68,844 Malicious Ashes, which equates to 22,281 spell casts of the Demonic Offering spell. It will only cost you 64 million GP, and that is with the casts of the spell as well as the ashes. As for your XP rate, 250 to 350,000 prayer XP per hour, but you will get a total of 4 million magic experience from level 1 to 99. If you decide you want to do infernal ashes to do it a little bit quicker, you'll need 39,489. You'll need 13,167 spell casts to complete that. Your cost is around 115 million. Your XP rate, 450 to 600,000, and you will get a passive 2.3 million magic XP from level 1 to 99 prayer. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for our old school RuneScape prayer guide in 10 minutes or less. I hope that you have learned something from this video. And if you didn't know something, well, I hope you do now. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. They really do help the video's popularity with all the algorithms and all that cool stuff that helps other people see it that might need it. If you haven't done so yet, tap that subscribe button on your way out. I will see you on the next 10 minute or less OSRS guide. Take it easy, everybody.